Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of the Somian Files Nirvana Initiative. In the previous episode, we looked back into what happened six years ago. Today's episode, right now, Ryuki is drunk. If you're today's episode, make sure that like button is posted to the channel as we're gonna figure out as to why the mess. Come on, Ryuki. Wake up. Hey, I said wake up. Oh, look, a porno mag. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Come on, big brother! Wake up! Wake up! If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late! <sighs> He's awake? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. Jin Furoe's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? How should I know? Should we try wing sinking? Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery. <laughs> They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Geni, being this man? Full name, Gen Ishiagane. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. Yeah, Genny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. But where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Ryuki, please, tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. He is quite intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. And it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. What will you do? Isn't it obvious? I'll sink with him. Do we have to speak to the professor so that way we get permission? To oh, never mind. We just drag his body over there so we can do the thing. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's how we do the sinking. Let's go. Wait, you didn't see her at the stadium? I did, but she's not back yet? Of course not. This is boss we're talking about. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. I know, I got the report. 
Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divitas six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? But the corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Today is also February 10th. What could it mean? Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but what I mean is... You haven't gotten permission from Boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course, and... left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. I am glad the room was vacant. I don't do well with roommates. Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Don't worry. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I see. Then let's get started. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. I got it. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Okay then, let's begin. been practicing. How's my dancing? Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Oh, no. Not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Mizuki, do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. Would you like a refresher? Nah, I'm good. Nah, it's fine. I've sinked plenty of times already. Well, if you do run into any issues, you can always check the manual. The manual explains sinks and Somnia comprehensively. Alright, let's mess Thanks. up somehow. Alright. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Well, before anything... Somnium scan! Activate!
You will investigate. Dispel Ryuki's hallucinations and find the truth. Ryuki is trapped by hallucinations. Help him overcome them and discover the truth. If we stand him, blah, blah, blah. We try count three. Hmm. This layer of Ryuki's somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. What was the first lock? I wasn't paying attention. Remember the case? Remember whatever that language is. A folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. Uh, sit. Stan. Try sitting on There. I forgot about the seconds. Oh! What? I should have should have get a refresh on the t whoa. Ryuki, Mizuki, now is your chance to question him. Okay, it doesn't matter which way you go, as long as we take a route. One may be the one that we have, the other we may not have locked. So, uh, tell me about the HB case. Slap him awake. Not get away with this just because you're a member of law enforcement. According to Criminal Law Entry 195, Special Civil Assault, you can be punished for abuse of authority. Chill, we're in a dream. It's fine. Hmm. Well, at this rate, we won't get anything out of him. Wake up! <sighs> fine. Screw it. Guess I'll just do what has to be done. Ryuki, can you tell me what you know about the HB case? Why do you keep making me remember? Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Please. Stop! Aiba? Uh, Aiba, you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? Ryuki, do you know the culprit? Do you? What is this? Wait. It's a reverse sync. What? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. So now Ryuki's going to be syncing with her. Wow, that's crazy. We never actually think about it because those two are placed together. We're not sure who's singing woo who huh? woo. This is Mr. Date's house. Twenty eyeballs gain? What does that even mean? But what the heck? That's supposed to be Tama? Tama? Oh my god. What is this? Soup? Oh, we're gonna be seeing this back and forth. Oh my god. Hopefully it doesn't cause epilepsy. We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So was everything okay? 
It should be, but it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind, but for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen? Great, we get to explore. What the heck is this? No, seriously, what the heck is this? Can't remember the name. Alrighty then. Remember the case? Close in on Ryuki. This place is... It's the cathedral. Oh, the cathedral. so this is what you were talking about. Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. And oh, Ryuki's Ryuki. right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So he's at the cathedral just making amends. Let's go. Wait, Mizuki. You can only remain in Somnia for six minutes, 360 seconds. For some reason or another, the passage of time in the interrogation room was slower. But that is not the case now. You need me to find the info within six minutes, right? I got it. While I remain still, time almost stops. But time progresses when I am in motion. That's the system that Pewter came up with, right? I swear, that Pewter is like a tech god. Thank you, XCon! <laughs> That's an interesting way to compliment someone. Anyway, if you are stuck, simply stop moving and observe your surroundings. Look at the map and try to get a hold of the situation. Understood? Yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Go ahead and check that don't display this message again box. I don't have that function. Okay, but what's... Oh? Now we got 100 balls gained. Look around, so whatever those for it may come handy. Wasn't it just for costumes though? Interesting. Look before anywhere else, let's check what that thing is. Wh what's this? Oh, we're surrounded. By what? The rubble turned into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn, we cannot get through. We need to find a way out of here. Hmm. A torch and something else. It's a torch. It's on fire. Uh. Inspect. It's a normal torch. I can feel the heat of the fire. There is nothing different. Oh, I see. The sh Ricky's dream is trapped by the shadow. The shadows are... Mizuki, I have obtained a key. What's that? A key is a new function that Pewter came up with. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject's psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. So the more I search, the more hints I get. A key is clarification, blah, blah. X. X. When stuck in the zone, open the, open the lock info for more clues. Yuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are... Alrighty then. A brazier. I can interact with this for whatever reason. Uh, breathe in. Inspect. It looks like a normal brazier. Touch it. No. Please, come 
want. Just the tip, please? Okay, then. Hot! O or... not? So it's fire that's... not hot? This fire must have shadow traits. Shadow traits? Different properties from the real world. For example, consider fire that is not hot. It is as though it is missing a property that it has in the real world. These shadows are usually heavily affected by the nature of dreams, so we might not extinguish this fire in the usual predictable fashion. Ryuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are always missing in a single aspect. In a single aspect. But we can dispel this, it's right? It's a torch. Wow. I could do well as a street performer. That looks fun. I'm gonna try that at home. Please We're wasting time. I'm kidding. Blowing it out won't work. It's a torch. Breathe in. What? The torch, duh. What do you mean, duh? That wasn't an obvious answer. I want you to extinguish it by sucking in with your nose. I have never heard of such a burn. Thing. What You'll the heck? Oh, you da try. not Dante. Fine. Freaking homeboy. Huh? Ah! I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Why did you mate her? We lost time out of that one. Abrasion. If this brazier is a shadow, we can't extinguish it in the normal way. Let's try something that doesn't normally extinguish fires. Alright, suck in really hard. I do have amazing suction. Oh god. Hey yo. Oh amazing god. Suction. Bravo. Marvelous. Huh? Deja vu? Looks like the shadow traits were the key after all. All right, halfway there. We're halfway there. That rubble there, is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? If we do, we cannot be wasting time. All right, let's chase after Ryuki. If you get lost, use the map. Yeah, I know. Mizuki, you. Yeah, ten apples gain. The underground Five cathedral. Or do anything else, check your surroundings. Alright, talk. Hey, Ryuki. It's not my fault. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Damn it. We are trapped in this what space. What the heck? But if we get rid of something with the shadow trait, maybe we can get out. Ryuki is. He's still holding on to an. It's a bottle of brandy. Hmm. It looks like a normal brandy bottle. Is this Ryuki's favorite drink? Yes. I've seen Ryuki drink this brand before. Ryuki was drinking right before the sink, which is probably why it showed up in his dream. He's just a drunkard. I do think Ryuki has a reliance on alcohol. Though it is all mental, it is not easy to overcome such an addiction. You don't have to sympathize with him, but you should at least understand. I see. Oh, yay! I got a timey! You know what a timey is, don't you? Nope. Um, it's like a useful item that changes the flow of time, right? For the most part, timey is a material capable of modifying the way the brain processes time. By using this, you can slow down or speed up time in the Somnium world. I invented it! You go, Pewter! You cannot hold on to too many at a time, so be sure to use them as they come. Alright, we're saving 20 seconds. That's a and gun, is it? Floating. Uh, go for it. It's an Evolver. Standard issue for Abyss members. Is it Ryuki's? Unless there is a special request. All members are issued the same firearm, so we cannot tell. But there is one thing I notice. What is it? I do not feel any electromagnetic forces. 
The Evolver utilizes electromagnetism, so it should be emitting electromagnetic waves. Oh, maybe it's one of those shadow trait things. Perhaps. It's an Evolver. Uh... Right. Which method do you want to try? Inside the mouth, below the chin, or on the temple? Uh, you don't have any second thoughts about this? I do. But my job is to support you, Mizuki. Above all else, I believe in and obey your orders. Uh, I see. Thanks. In that case, can you ignore my last command? Nope. What the? Aiba! Aiba! It was a blank. My ears are ringing. <sighs> Jeez. Your nose and ears have been through a lot today, huh? I have other holes. I'll be fine. Oh, damn. What are you planning on using the other holes for? It appears obeying your command was the right thing to do. Good job, Mizuki. So basically, we had to do the opposite oh, of what's uh, expected. Yeah. Glad it worked. Ryuki. Damn it. Damn it. That's no use. Me dying isn't going to fix anything. Are these feet? I can't die yet. I'll carry this forever. All right, one more to go. Ryuki is and still holding on to his regrets and chase after Ryuki. You have four like. minutes remaining. All the way up there, got it. Let's see what happens. This again. But now we know what to do. We need to find the thing with shadow traits and break it, right? Yes, most likely. But it looks like we can only interact with Ryuki. So... Hey, Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm really sorry. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. Could be negative consequences. It's fine, just kick his ass. That sounds awfully violent. I'll try it. Ow. That looked painful. He disappeared. But nothing happened. Yeah, nothing's changing. What a waste of a good kick. We should inspect the other Ryukis. Ryuki is burdened by what happened in the past and still holding on to the regrets and we lost 20 seconds. Hey, Ryuki. I can't forget about what I did. I have no future. Are you sure? He's so down on himself. He looks like he needs a good punch. I am not so sure about that, but okay. Get a hold of yourself! Oh, that killed him. Hmm, but nothing changed, which means getting rid of him didn't do anything. Let's inspect another Ryuki. The last one. 
Ryuki is burdened by what happened in the past, and he's still holding on to his regrets and is in denial. Left. You can do this. Ryuki. I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> His face irritates me, but it is the usual Ryuki. But Ryuki doesn't usually look this... happy. Huh. He doesn't have a shadow. No shadow. That means this Ryuki is... Yes. It could be the shadow trait we are looking for. I did nothing... This Ryuki doesn't have a shadow. And something's weird about how positive he is. That must be the shadow trait. So we should do the opposite of what he wants. Yes, the don't encourage the psychotic breakdown plan. Ota would probably love the praise, but this is Ryuki, the honor student we're talking about here. Ryuki, you're doing well. Just forget it all. You did nothing wrong. No one's going to resent you. Boss and everyone else accepts you. Just rest. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. No! That's not... Stop! It's all my fault! Which is why I needed to do something! Alright! Our plan worked! No, 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 no! No forgiveness! No mercy! Never! Never! And that's the halfway point. The fire. There's no going back. What is Ryuki holding on to that's hurting him like this? Alright, before anything else. We can play around with whatever time we got left. What's this? Will you do something? Hey, this police ID is Date? What? <laughs> I didn't even investigate him, but okay. Well, hold it off right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe, show us XTB, and I'm signing out.